Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you my current favorite top six bad boy romances. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first book I have for you is in a series. I think the first book is called The Satan as a Series. So I don't know if this is actually the first. I think it is though. So the first one is Commanded by You. Um, and this is by Geneva Lee. So this story is kind of like a British royalty reimagining. So you have these two characters. You have first you have Clara who is an American and her father I think was British and her mom's American and they ended up being like these tech geniuses and they developed this uh, I forgot what it was. I think it's like an app. Not an app. But like a website or something and then they sold it and that's how they made all their money so her family's rich and but she's always had more of an affinity to like her dad's kind of thing than her mom's so she ended up moving to the UK and that's where she lives or I think that's where her whole family lives actually now and then you have Alex who is the British crown prince so they end up meeting at a party and she doesn't really know who he is. She just walks into a room and she sees this guy smoking and she tells him he shouldn't be smoking there and he kind of laughs at her and long story short they end up kissing and it ends up on a tabloid and she realizes oh this is the Prince of England. So from there they end up starting up an affair and it ends up being a lot harder to keep their relationship as platonic as they were expecting it to be. They kind of thought, hey, we'll just do some hookups in a hotel and nobody will ever know and it'll be easy. We'll just have this kind of like friends with benefits type thing. And they realize that they are developing feelings for each other and it's a little bit more than that. From there, the story kind of progresses into how do you have a relationship with somebody who is in such a highly viewed life like their life is kind of under a microscope and so she went from being someone who lived a very mundane average life to now her life is also under a microscope and does she even want that for herself and the story kind of i i found that i enjoyed this a lot because it was interesting to look into this kind of lifestyle. I mean, we all think, well, what if we were a prince or a princess or whatever, but to actually read about it and hear about it and see how these people actually live, I mean, I know this is fictional, but even still, you kind of realize this might not be the life that you actually want for yourself because everything that may look great on the outside is not necessarily all that great on the inside. So, so the next book I have for you is Dominic by L.A. Casey. So this book is a, I guess you would call it like a new adult book. Um, and it's one of my favorites. I've read it a million times. So your two main characters are Dominic and Brona. And Brona is, I think, pretty much the whole perspective that you get from the book. I don't think you get Dominic's perspective at all in this book. I don't think. So anyway, um, Brona is a very quiet, um, introverted person since she lost her parents. It's just her and her sister Brana, and she doesn't want to let anyone else in. So she's gone so far as to ostracize everyone at school. People know they don't that they shouldn't talk to her because she doesn't want to be bothered, and she'll just kind of ignore you. Um, and then in walk the two Slater twins and they kind of break down her whole wall and force their way into her life. But especially Dominic who starts off kind of bullying her and it's bullying but it's not bullying if that makes sense. So like he'll do innocent stuff and then her 
kind of counterbalance to his innocent stuff is way over the top. So you might not like that about her because she's very dramatic. She is very spunky and sassy, even to her own, like, end. Uh, so take that as you will. But I enjoy this because I really enjoy their banner, their banter. I found it very funny. I found Verona very funny. And I just found the brothers very good to read about. And I found their life very interesting. So, yeah. And it's also a very easy read and it's very easy to like speed through. And that's part of why I enjoyed it as well. I have read, what have I read? No, actually, I think the only, I've only read two books in the series. So I read the very first one, Dominic. And then I've read the very last one, Dame, no, it's not called Damien. No, is it called Damien? Yeah, the very last one, Damien. And those are the only two that I've actually read. So, but they were my two favorite characters. Eventually, I do want to go back and read the other ones. But the two that I have read in this series have been the best. So the next book I'm going to talk to you about is the Lost in Me series by Lex Ryan, where the series talks about Hannah, who finds herself in the beginning of the story waking up from, am uh, from an accident, and she finds out she has amnesia, and she doesn't remember the last year, year or nine months or something like that, of her life. And in those months that she doesn't remember, she has not only lost all the weight that she thought she would never be able to lose, she opened a bakery that was her dream that she never thought she'd be able to open, but she also got engaged to the guy that she always wanted to date, who she thought really wanted her sister. Um, so in her eyes, waking up from what she remembers to what she actually has now, her life is perfect. It's everything she's always wanted. It's perfection. And she soon realizes that what may have seemed like her perfect life is not really perfect. Anyway, from there, Hannah kind of um, realizes that there's other things going on. So her fiance, Max, is keeping secrets. Her sisters seem to all know things that she doesn't know. Um, and also, she wakes up from coming home out of the hospital and finds a naked man in her bed and doesn't understand where he came from either because if she has a fiance who is this man in her bed and the story while I enjoy this story and it is one of my favorites and I have read it multiple times I don't think this story is for everyone because I do think that people will very quickly become frustrated with Hannah because she does bounce back and forth between Max and this other guy Nate and you do see her make mistakes and mess up and it is frustrating to look at because you're kind of like you know who you love and you know who you don't love and you're, you're trying to make excuses for why to be with this person and you kind of see that but I also like that because I feel like that's that moment like when you watch stuff on TV and you're telling that person no don't go in that room or no don't sleep with that person and they do it anyway and you're like talking to the TV like they can hear you even though you know they can't and I feel like that's how you feel about this book but I know that's not everyone's cup of tea so you might not enjoy that but it is one of my favorite things Okay, so the next book I'm going to talk to you about is the Plus One Chronicles. Alright, so the Plus One Chronicles are an interesting one because you have these two characters, Kat and Sloan, and Sloan is a millionaire who made his money originally as an MMA fighter, and then he switched over, retired, and opened up a bunch of gyms. And now he's this rich businessman and you have Kat who is this kind of simple bakery owner and they end up meeting at a wedding where Kat's best friend is 
I think he's stabbed. He's either stabbed or shot. And um, Kat kind of goes into a panic attack. And Sloane, who noticed her at the party and wanted to talk to her, so he followed her out. And when he gets there, he ends up saving them. And they end up making a deal that in exchange for him teaching her how to fight, she will be his plus one. From there, their relationship kind of goes on as they realize that they want more than be a plus one. And then there's also other layers to the story. So you have Kat, who also, she walks with a limp because her leg was shattered when she was attacked in a mugging or what she has been told was a mugging from someone trying to steal her engagement ring. Kat works as a, I think, a secretary in her parents' lab, and her fiance was a, like a, like a protege of her parents. And so they were engaged to be married, and one night they were out, and what she was told was that some guy came up asked for her ring said they said that she wouldn't give him the ring and so he beat her and shattered her leg and in the meantime her fiance ran back got in their car locked the doors and called 911. Kat has never believed that to be true even though everyone in her life has told her that's what happened and that she just needs to accept it so she ends up packing up her life and moving away from her family, not like long distance, but just leaving them alone. She doesn't really talk to them. The only person she really talks to is her brother. And she ended her engagement because she felt like she couldn't trust her fiance because he was lying about something. And so she ends up starting over and opening a bakery. This story was one that I felt like was very intriguing and that's what kept me reading it. So um, it kept you going to the next thing. And you also find out that there's a lot of things that happened in Sloan's past that have shaped him into the man he is too. So I found this story one that I devoured very quickly because it was fast paced. It was quick going. You, you had a lot of I don't want to say action because there isn't a ton of action. Like, there's some like action moments, but most of it is just like intrigue and drama and stuff to like propel it forward. And the plot was really good, and I really enjoyed that about it. So the last two books I have to discuss here are two of my favorite favorite book series books. They're both series, but the one is more of a series than the other that makes sense so I'll explain a little bit as I get into them so the first one I'm going to talk about of the two is Devoured by Emily Snow now Devoured is a rock star romance I think so you have Lucas and Sienna and Lucas is the front man for the band Your Toxic Sequel and Sienna is a um, wardrobe consultant and they meet on the set of one of your toxic sequels music videos they end up going out or rather she ends up going to his house and he makes her dinner and they have a good time until he receives a phone call and kicks her out of his house and she doesn't see him again for two years until she gets a call from her brother that her grandmother's house is being sold she needs to come home she goes home and they end up in court and the person she finds out that buying her grandmother's house is none other than Lucas Wolf. So from there, they end up making a deal that she will get her grandmother's house back if she spends 10 days with Lucas doing, well, I was going to say doing whatever he wants, but it doesn't, it's not supposed to be whatever he wants. It's supposed to be just 10 days as his assistant. And if she makes it to 10 days, will give her back her grandmother's house. No questions asked, anything. This story is an interesting one. I really enjoy this. And then the last book I have for you is the Kings of the Causeway series 
by T.M. Frazier and this series is definitely one of my favorites. So the first book is about King and Doe and Doe is a girl who shows up to one of King's parties at his house and I think it's like right after he gets out of prison and he's working on getting his daughter back um, and Doe has amnesia. She doesn't really remember what happened to her and King and his two friends Bear and Preppy kind of take this girl in and they're trying to figure out not only who she is but also who is trying to kill her. So yeah, I don't really know where to go from there but the series for me is one that I couldn't put down it's very intriguing. It makes you laugh out loud because you have these guys who have such a, a great relationship and a great camaraderie for each other that it just, it's good. And I can't say anything else, but it's good. <sighs> Alright, you guys. So we come to the end of this video. And so now you know my current favorite bad boy romances. I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, I hope you read some of these books because I really love them and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.